Marquise Hayes is a 6'5", 320 pound tone setting offensive guard with excellent competitive toughness to really get after those defenders. He has fantastic strength and plays the game of football with a violent nature. He strikes well with powerful independent hands. He can latch and mirror very well and also plays with great pad leverage. And these are some of the things that I think can make him into a very good football player at the next level. He also had a very good week at the senior bowl and he should be an instant starter alongside the line for the Arizona Cardinals, who in my opinion, got a major steal in the seventh round. What I wanna do is I wanna show you guys some of the key things that are going to make this offensive lineman such a special prospect at the next level. Let's jump into some of these plays. Now I want you guys to think about this play right here and think about how difficult this block is. Look at where this guy is on the screen. He is literally playing that outside shade of that left tackle. And Hayes is basically going to reach all the way to the left and pick this guy off. He's basically going to seal him off, which is going to allow that running back to hit that outside lane. But more than that, it allows the left tackle to get up to the next level as well. Think about how difficult this block is right here. For Hayes to be able to get all the way around and cut off that defensive end is such an impressive block. These type of blocks are not typical of offensive linemen, but I'm telling you guys right now, Hayes is very quick. He understands angles. He understands by taking this wide angle, it's going to allow him to have the best opportunity to cut that defensive end off. The left guard and left tackle really do a great job on this play, and the running back picks up almost 8 yards. Now on this next play, Hayes is going to do something similar, but this time he's actually going to help that left tackle overtake that guy lined up across from him. Now what's most impressive about this play is that Hayes is going to throw a nasty punch, a massive punch, to really slow that defensive lineman down, to really shock that defensive lineman, and ultimately it works. The left tackle is able to overtake that defensive lineman. Now unfortunately for Hayes, the center gets blown up and Hayes steps on the center and he ends up falling. But the fact that he's able to punch that defensive lineman shows me that he understands what he needs to do. He understands these advanced things that you can do, rather it's a jump hook, rather it's a slingshot block, rather it's a punch to allow that offense tackle to overtake the guy lined up across from you. It's an impressive play. Now finally, I do want to share, show you guys this one last play when it comes to his run blocking. Because this play right here shows that he understands angles. He understands what he has to do in order to win at the point of attack. Look, Hayes could have ran straight at this linebacker. But that linebacker would have read that and likely ran somewhere to the inside over here. So instead, Hayes is going to take this wide angle to his right and really just set up and hook this linebacker. You don't always have to be the strongest, the fastest, the quickest. You just have to be the smartest. You just have to understand angles. And that is one of the things I absolutely love with Hayes. Now, what's crazy about this play is this play really doesn't pick anything up. But look at this lane right here that Hayes helps generate. Had the running back just hit that lane, this is a big game. But that's because Hayes is able to seal off this linebacker. From the perspective of understanding angles, Hayes understands angles. And again, you don't have to be the biggest, strongest, quickest, fastest. You just have to be able to process and understand angles. Now, another big part of playing football is processing. And I want you guys to keep an eye on number 47 here and watch how Hayes is going to pick up the blitz of number 47. Because in my opinion, it's a very impressive play by the guard. Number 47 is going to blitz, really fake out that right guard. But Hayes comes and picks it up. He sees it. And I want to break down in slow motion a little bit. One of the things you're going to notice with Marquise Hayes is he's going to right away off the point of attack. Realize that is that this right defensive end is actually dropping back in coverage. So Hayes is going to pass off number 98 to the left tackle. And he's going to get his head back to the inside. And that's when he's going to process and read number 47 coming. Being able to process these type of things, allow the quarterback to get out of the pocket and then deliver the pass. I mean, this is a 30 yard gain right here because Marquise Hayes was able to process and pick up and help the other offensive linemen. And he's shown to do that a number of times. Take this play against UNC. He literally looks out to his left, comes back to his right, and he helps his right guard who basically lost this block. Marquise Hayes is so freaking impressive on tape. And to be honest, I really think the Arizona Cardinals got a big steal in Hayes, and I'm really excited to see where he ends up as the season kind of comes along. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps this channel grow. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.